Game set and match. It's that time again. It's Wimbledon. So let's get started. Wimbledon is the oldest of the four Grand Slam tennis tournaments. Held annually on the last week of June and the first week of July, it is one of the highlights of the British sporting summer. Fans enjoy the sights, sounds, smells and the food and drink on offer, especially strawberries and cream and pims. Play is guaranteed throughout the tournament even if it rains, thanks to roofs on centre and number one courts. This year the championships will mark 100 years of centre court in its current location at Church Road in Wimbledon. And for the first time in 2022, there will be scheduled play on the middle Sunday, previously a traditional rest day. To many tennis fans, Roger Federer is the GOAT, the greatest of all time. The Swiss won Junior Wimbledon in 1998, aged 16. Five years later, he claimed his first of eight men's titles at SW19. Now aged 40, could there be one final moment of victory at Wimbledon to come? Here's Paul with a review of the book, The Master, The Brilliant Career of Roger Federer by Christopher Clary. Yes, I finally finished reading The Master, Roger Federer. It was a very interesting read. I learned how he developed from a junior to a Wimbledon champion through his coaches with Peter Carter to his more recent ones, like Lubacic. They also delve into how Mirka, his wife, helped improve his game and brought it to new heights. Rivalries is what makes a good player a great player and he certainly had that with Nadal, Djokovic and Murray. Winning is great but I think losing is what helps you become a much better player. 
I enjoyed reading this book because it brought back those events that I might have forgotten about and it brought into perspective things that he was going through, things that was kept behind closed doors and I was really impressed with how he was able to compartmentalize his losses and have fun with the kids. It just shows you that he is pretty down to earth and relatable to you and me in that sense. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye for now. You can't have Wimbledon without having strawberries and cream. So let's prepare some strawberries and cream, shall we? Okay, first things first, you need to have a good scrub of these strawberries, which we just did. So you can either cut them with your knife or peel, or peel the flowery bits off. I like to peel it like this. Now it's time to cut them because you don't really want to have like a mouthful of strawberry. No, that's too, that's too not Wimbledon. <laughs> so let's cut them in quarters like so. So we're going to have three each or three all. <laughs> Do you get it? This is what they would normally serve at Wimbledon. And of course, you need to have your double cream. Otherwise, it's not strawberries and cream, is it? Marcus wants a bit more. <laughs> and now it's time to serve up. Marcus, it's time for the strawberries and cream! <laughs> look, and I've been doing all the other camera work. Now it's time for me to talk in and look, we're both wearing red. Red for strawberries. So you will have the one that has a lot more cream because mm, I know that I love cream. Mmm! 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 Oh yeah! Oh! It's hitting the taste buds! Mmm! Mmm! The sweetness of the strawberries goes really well with the double cream. A little bit too well, I think. I can just picture the scene now. We're on the centre court. It's men's finals day. And Roger Federer is about to lift the trophy. Yet again. Am I dreaming? Mmm. <laughs> well, the thing is, strawberries used to be seasonal. But now, thanks to not only imports, but people who have polytunnels. Greenhouses? Yeah, so, well, polytunnel greenhouse type mm. things. Um, in the UK, they can be, you know, they're harvested all year round. So, that little window in the summer to enjoy your strawberries is now a wide window of 365 days a year. So you don't need to have Wimbledon to have strawberries, but you need to have strawberries to have Wimbledon. How about that? Yes, <laughs> that makes so it's much sense. Absolutely is. Serve me some more later. <laughs> Well, we hope you have enjoyed today's show, despite some sound issues, and we do apologise about that. But anyway, it wouldn't be Wimbledon without a few rain delays or something along those lines. So enjoy the tournament, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.